Hi, it's Karen from We're Just Two Sisters. Um, I hope everyone is doing well on this beautiful spring morning. I wake up every morning and count my blessings and I'm so thankful that my family is near and that my sister and I are able to um, put together the, these journals, every from everything from journals to clusters to tags, things to put in journals that um, you might make or already have. And we just enjoy it so much. We appreciate the feedback and we appreciate you. Um, we try to, uh, excuse me, we try to keep our um, Etsy shop full of items and please keep checking back. And we, again, are just so thankful for you as our clients. Um, this journal that I want to show you today is called The Dressmaker. It's so full, as you can see, of just beautiful items that I've, I've put together to share with you. And um, it has five signatures and it measures five by almost eight inches. It has 72 pages and the spine is quite wide. It's two and a half inch spine. And um, let's check it out. Let's look at the front of it here. These are little dangles that I made. They're actually the tops of old spools that I came across and glued on the little signature strings. This is um, an old, actually a cereal box, or not a cereal box, a cracker box. I mean, who would know that you could take a cracker box and make it look so pretty? I mean, I, I, I just am astonished every time I make something like, wow. And um, this is the spine, it's got a little dangle. It has thimbles, measuring tape, and needles. And then some little buttons that I made. The back has this little booklet that you can open up and it has pages to write in. It says dressmaking made easy. And it has this little tag that you can write on and it goes right back down into this belly band. Honest, it does. Come on. Well, I'll put it, I know it goes back in there. We'll put it back in there in a moment. And this is a um, little belly band. So let's open it up. This is a really soft, um, it's not sorry silk, I forget. There is a name for the ribbon, but um, it's kind of a rose color. So it's up to you as to whether you would like to keep this ribbon. It's detachable, of course, you can tell. And, or if you want to not put anything on it or pick your own ribbon. This is a little tag, it says the dressmaker a complete book on all matters connected with sewing and dressmaking. And you can turn it over and write on the back. And it goes right back under this little um, hanger paper clip that I think is so cute and a little pocket. So let's open it up and get started and see what's on the inside. So here, now it's, it's very full. <laughs> here we have a little bag of handmade buttons. Let's see if I can get a couple of them out here. I think there's like 15. Those are the bigger ones. Let's see if I can find a little one.
Yes, here's a smaller one. And they're covered on both sides. So I think there's like 21 of them. I like odd numbers. And it just fits back down into this little pocket. That's where its home is. Of course, you can put, you know, things wherever you feel comfortable putting them. And it, this is the dressmaker sign. Here's a little card to write on with some little um, brackets. And it goes down into that little pocket. This is a um, slot tag with a little writing card. This is a little envelope. It's got, let's see what's in here. Got um, some little postcards in it, little tiny postcards. And it just goes right back down in here. This is a little dress that um, it was a die cut and they, I just think they're so cute. It says Taylor. Another little die cut dress with some pearls that adorn the little tag there. Some journaling space with some lace. This is a little, little tiny tag. Goes down in this little pocket. More journaling space. This is a little dress that I made. These are some tags. It has a little paper clip on it. A little round tag with some lace. I thought this was really cool. It's advice from a Singer Sewing Machine Manual, 1949. Prepare, prepare yourself mentally for sewing. Think about what you're going to do. Never approach sewing with a sigh or lackadaisically. Good results are difficult when indifference predominates. Never try to sew with a sink full of dirty dishes or beds unmade. And it goes on and on. And I'll let you read that should you decide to purchase this journal. It's really kind of fun. And everything goes back down in this pocket. And I'll put the little paper clip back on later. This is your little, I don't know if everyone owns a, a little black dress. This is semi-black, but I thought it was very pretty, very elegant. And here's some little thimbles and pins and scissors and seamstress flare. Some beautiful black lace. This is a little flip up. Proverbs 31, she works willingly with her hands. I think that's so pretty. I love to work with my hands, whether it be out in the garden, in the dirt, or up to my elbows in <laughs> ink and paper and glue. These are some little cutouts, fussy cuts that I cut out. This is, um, I would say, like dresses that my mom would have worn maybe in the 40s or 50s, 60s. But they kind of reminded me of her. And another little tag with a spool of thread. This is a tag. It is also paper clipped in. Things tend to want to wobble around. So this has a little piece of material with a little charm. Place to write on the back of it. 
This is some thread that I made a little spool and threaded it around. This is very elegant and some pink buttons. A pretty little party dress. This is a belly band that has a maker's, what are these called? I know they have a name, but I'm not sure what they're called. But you can journal on the back of it. Maker's dressmaker, something. I don't know. I have to look that up. Another little dress on a little hanger. Some more little tags. There's some um, actually pattern paper, some tags, a little corset, and a little measuring tape, a little safety pin, and pearls. I thought this was a pretty page. More buttons. And a little swat of material. Swat? Is that a word? Swat. No. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, and a little picture frame. And this is, says lace. Another one of those form, form fitter. Dress form fitter. <laughs> this is some more tissue paper that's actually glued on. Some little tags. This is kind of cool. It's a Montgomery Ward Company. An old, maybe part of an old pattern, but I kind of love it because my mom used to shop at Mon Monkey Wards is what we used to call it, Montgomery Wards a lot. Fundamentals of dressmaking. It goes back down in this little belly band here. Work basket, pattern service. This is some little swatches of material. I think that's the word I was looking for. And they just kind of hang out. A little pink button. Journaling page. A couple of tags, a corset, and another corset. You can go back down to there. Journaling, journaling. Here's a pretty dress I put together. I I just love die cuts. I have so much fun with them. You can make just about everything. Journaling space. I love the beautiful lace that I've put in here. I was fortunate to get a, a lot of lace from a um, lady that had passed away. Her husband gave it to me. This is a little envelope. It doesn't fold down, but it's got some cute little threads, scissors, dress form. Uh, that's what it's called. Journaling on the back. And it goes back down into this pocket. Yeah, here we go. Some more little tags. Singer sewing machine. A little lady in her party dress. A sweet story. And this is a little safety pin, a little tape measure. And another little booklet that can be journaled in. Pretty little tag. And 
It all goes back down in here. These are different tape measures. And this is the ruffle that I had made. This is another um, Victorian garment cutter book. Another little book to write in, journals. This is an old receipt that you can write on the back of. And here's some dresses that maybe my mom wore at one time. I could have worn something like them. She loved to shop for us and pick out material and I can remember playing in her button box <laughs> that she had. Some more journaling pages. There's some items, a corset. A little journaling on the back. There's a whole bunch of corsets with a little tag. Let me go right down and back into this pocket. Here's a pretty little dress I made. These are like so fun to make, so fun. Here's some little tags. Beautiful dresses. I can't imagine back in the 1800s, 1900s, making um, dresses. So much lace and so much they had to do. Little teeny buttons. I've seen little teeny buttons on like children's clothes. Here's a little pattern. And this is fun. It, it can be opened up. And inside are some little if I can get a hold of them. There are a bunch of little stamps. I think there's three to a pocket here. But each pocket has stamps in them. Journaling page. journaling. I thought this was so pretty. Looks like something maybe Mary Lincoln wore or <laughs> back in that era. And this flips up and there's a little cameo underneath. Six cord thread. Very vintage. These are little books that can be slid out or untied that can be journaled in. And I won't take the time to put those back in right now. They do go back in very easily. This says, the only perfect sewing machine for family use, Wheeler and Wilson. And this is Dressmaker's Dictionary. More journaling. This is a big tag. Journaling spot. More thread. Journaling. Journaling, journaling. Lots of journaling space in this little journal. Here's an old um, thread, needle threader. I believe that's what that is. And just some old dressmaking books that I found. Took pictures of. Another little pretty little dress. A little purse and hat and shoes that match. Here's some little tags. Pattern. 
adjustable form for bust and hips. I was not fortunate to have very big hips or rear end, but um, I guess I can count my blessings for that. Here's a little pocket that you can put tuck something in. This is a little hanky that comes out. These are a, a little ch scissor charm. And this is a little tag you can write on the back of. And it fits back down in there. And this is a wax seal with some pattern paper. A little bow. Some more journaling space. This is a little thread or or lace um, wrapper, wrapper rounder. <laughs> This is a little envelope that has lace in it and it's on with Velcro. So you can um, pop that off. And this is the back. And again, this was so much fun to put together. Um, please check us out at our Etsy store. That's www.we'rejusttwosisters.etsy.com. Again, We're just two sisters with the number two dot Etsy dot com. We try to keep it full of new things and um, people buy things quite quickly. So hopefully while this is still available, you'll check it. You can check it out on our Etsy store. And um, again, thank you so much for um, your patronage and um we hope to, I hope to see you again soon with another journal. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.